A time of question and answer. A young boy of 19 years old in South Africa sent me a message and asked some advice from me. That is, and also he put a question. He says that I am a young youngsters. I have my age is nineteen years old. Where we are living in this world, how to to make progress, a spiritual progress in this life where we are living. So I am very young. If you can reply to me, because the world is full of our sins. There are many, that is uh, many, I want to understand his question, that uh, what he wants to know, that there's uh, many, many bad, many evils around the world and especially in his country. So, his name is Ashraf, Ashraf Yadullah. So, it is in fact, it is a fact that different youngsters have different ideas. And different ideas and thinking. Yet all their ideas are most the same because they all aim at being successful. Success is a fruit of our efforts. We cannot think of success without giving some thought to our efforts. Being a student, we, we are inclined to look upon success through examination. But would it be bad if we look at it from another point of view, that is, through what we achieve and acquire? Seen from this perspective, education should not be, though, in, uh, though of, uh, in terms of certificates, 
Of course, it is true that certificates are valid proof of our academic abilities. But examination are no criteria by which our other inner qualities can be judged. Therefore, to think of success, we should know the aim of education. Education is meant to develop men faculties, mental and physical, fully and harmoniously to train reason and imagination, to teach patience and endurance, to train the memory, memory and to store it with thoughts valuable for latter life. Our success through education must be in such a way that we could withstand difficulties in our future life. Nowadays, education is more vocational and technical in order to meet the demand, the demands of present day society. Hence, being educated, we must be helpful to our own country and to the world at large. If that, if we ask ourselves, what will the world lose if I die? we may get a significant answer. Being young, we have all the opportunities before us. So let us strike. Let us strike the iron when it is hot. We must not let opportunities slip, slip through our fingers. Every day is a new day. You understand me? Every day is a new day. It is true since each new dawn brings new opportunities. So we must be ever prepared, prepared to avail these opportunities. There is a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at flood leads unto fortune. Omitted, all the voyage of our life is bound in shallows and miseries. On such a full sea are we now afloat Afloat, E-F-L-O-A-T, afloat. And we must take the current when it serves, or we lose our ventures. When I was in studying the school, in the college, they are the famous lines of a Shakespeare, which I have learned. So as we are told, we must make the best of this tide and should utilize our energy and the spirit of our youth. So working towards success we must be prepared to sacrifice in economics, it is said. True cost is alternatively sacrificed. This conveys deep philosophical meaning, that is, the cost of our sacrifice is at the expense of our leisurely alternative sacrifice. 
So we must infuse a spirit of sacrifice in ourselves. Our progress should be obvious and every day before going to bed we should ask ourselves what have I sacrificed today? Progress need steady effort. We are just like a man who is rowing against the current. Against the current. If he rows, he moves forward, and if he relaxes, he is driven backward. So there is no stand, st uh, no stand still in progress. Our effort should be continuous to make the progress significant and substantial. Of course, in this way, life would be a burden. But such is life. It is to be lived and not to be portrayed. Portrayed, sorry, to be portrayed. Life is a challenge to everyone. It is a battle in which only the brave take heart to fight. And also, my advice is also, so you must attach yourself, you are still young, so attach yourself to God, the unique God. So it is very important to attach you to Allah, Tabarak wa ta'ala. Because to you must make big sacrifice also. Uh, turn to Allah. That is, when you will turn to Allah, you will purify yourself. So you must know that purity Purity and impurity cannot compromise. Just has darkness and light. O oh, halal and haram. Jais and najais. Day and night. Sunnat and bidat. Tawhid and shirk. Islamic and un-Islamic. Ignorance and knowledge can never be combined United. So it is foolish to absorb, to absurd and a sheer lack of true knowledge to call for unity upon wrong. Erroneous beliefs and un Islamic shiriki action and practices which are not proven from the Holy Quran and the saying of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, my dear, my dear son, nowadays, you know, pray to Allah that Allah can protect you. Nowadays, Allah protects us. Misguided people are carelessly degrading the enemy stable quality of Allah by granting divinity to his Rasul and the saint and by creating other places for tawaf that is on graves and by exaggerating or over emphasizing the importance of place like you are in South Africa, you know this. Even in India, there is like Ajmer, Gum, Karbala, etc., etc. So attach yourself to Allah, pray to Allah, and 
put in your mind that Hajj is very essential in our life. Not Ajmer, not Karbala. I know the way you put your question, I can understand. For that reason, I, I answer you from the far to come to the near to reply to you. First, I know that you are a student, even you have not mentioned that you are a student and you are Muslims. So, to my advice that unity means sharing in the erroneous beliefs and joining in all the evil practices, which are baseless. In spite of the psychological tactics used to arouse the emotion and sentiment of the listeners, that is, you, you listen on other, in order to snow the unwary amongst them, the apparent unity that they claim is but temporary, temporary and feeble. So, true believers do not make friends with any man other than your own people. They will spare no pains to corrupt you. They desire nothing but your reign. Their hatred is clear from what they say, but more violent is the hatred which their breast, breast conceal. So, put in mind, believers, if you heal to the infidels, they will drag you back to unbelief and you will return headlong to perditions. Do not follow the example of the unbelievers. Do not choose the infidels rather than the faithful for your friend. Would you give Allah a clear proof against yourself? So take neither Jews nor Christians for your friends and protector. Oh, the non-believers, they are friends and protectors of one another. Whoever of you seeks their friendship and supports them shall become one of their number. Allah does not guide the wrongdoers. So, take has supporters, neither those who, who are given the book before you, who have made your religion a jest and a pastime, know the infidels. Do not befriend your father or your brothers if they choose and believe in preference to faith. Wrongdoers are those who befriend them. Jazakallah. Sanal Jaza has come question. You can send me your question if you have not understand.